Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion on neural networks. We are going to look at another basic building block for neural networks, the sigmoid unit. We looked at perceptrons, which is a simple building block, a linear building block. Now we are going to introduce another building block for neural networks. The sigmoid unit uses the sigmoid function, as you might have guessed. And we have a diagram here which is very similar to what we saw for perceptrons. We have a summation part similar to the perceptrons. And instead of the activation, we have a sigmoid function which operates on the summation. So we have all the features on the far left, their weights on the edges, the bias term, just like the perceptron, and then a summation unit, which captures a summation a weighted sum of all the features and the bias, which is given by sigma i equal to 0 to n wi xi. And we call this quantity to be net and we'll use net when we derive the update for the sigmoid unit. And so I want you to remember that the net is equal to a summation of w i x i and then we pass that to a sigmoid function and now our sigmoid the output of the sigmoid is given by o is equal to sigmoid which is given by the symbol this is the sigmoid function sigmoid of net and that is equal to 1 by 1 plus e raised to minus net. We know that already because we introduced this function in logistic regression. Now, sigmoid has an interesting property which we will use in our derivation. So I'm going to introduce that here. So the sigmoid function, any sigmoid function, sigmoid of x, is given by 1 plus 1 by 1 plus e raised to minus x. And now we have a differentiation of sigmoid function with respect to x. When we differentiate sigmoid with respect to x, so this is similar to 1 by x, right? So we use the formula for differentiation of x raised to minus 1, and we get minus 1 by 1 plus e raised to minus x the whole square and then we continue to differentiate this quantity right then we get minus because there's a minus here in front of x you know e raised to minus x minus a raised to minus x this is what we get. Now, we want to represent this in a function that we already know in terms of our sigmoid of x. And that just helps in our simplifying our calculations. So that's what we're going to do. Now we have this minus and this minus cancels. So we have e raised to minus x by 1 plus a raised to minus x, the whole square. Now we can write this as 1 by 1 plus a raised to minus x times e power minus x by 1 plus e power 
minus x right this quantity here this quantity here is nothing but sigmoid of x we know that already right and this quantity here is nothing but 1 minus sigmoid of x. So that's why we get this, the differentiation of sigmoid of x with respect to x to be equal to sigmoid of x, this quantity, times 1 minus sigmoid of x, this quantity. 